Right then guys, massive news coming out of Walsall. Dean Keats has been sacked as the Walsall manager. Um, massive news. Um, I think it was the right decision in the end. Tactically, he didn't have it. The football was absolutely shocking. But hopefully we need to get make the right decision for this manager. We've had so many managers recently um, over the last five years, I'd say. Five, three years, I don't know. But... Um, I would like Paul Hurst in the long term, but um, I reckon they might bring in Martin O'Connor to the end of the season, but Paul Hurst would be the best one for me. Picture on screen now will be the picture of Martin O'Connor and Bonsa speaking straight after the game. Um, that might show something, maybe, but I'd rather... It's, at least they haven't done it right at the end of the season when we might have been down, but... Paul Hurst for me would have been would be the best one, but good luck for Dean Keats in the future, um, where whatever you do. But um, the backroom staff didn't help, like Michael Oakes and Andy Davies um, didn't really help Dean Keats out. When Martin O'Connor came in, helped out a lot, always in the t in the technical area, telling the players what to do. But I'm surprised. I'm actually quite surprised they've sacked him, but. Good, they've sacked him. I thought they'd keep him to the end of the season because of his contract. I think we still have to pay like two and a half years of his contract because I think Dinkies Dinkies has had just over a year at Warsaw. But we need a really good appointment. Um, but Paul Hurst, like I said, would be absolutely amazing. Next Shrewsbury, ex Ipswich. But. A little review on today's game um, was absolutely shocking, pathetic performance, no passion, no desire, no effort. But um, thank you guys for watching this video. Like, comment and subscribe. Put down in the comments what you think of the sacking of Dean Keats and who we, who we should get as a new manager here. Up the Saddlers.